Hey everyone, it's Ismay and I'm excited to invite you to a new horror exploration kind of survival type game that dropped today. It's called Pacific Drive and basically it I don't really know how to explain it. You go on missions, you scavenge, you explore. It's not exactly roguelike, but you know, every time you go on a mission it changes, so it almost feels like it. I don't know. I haven't played it yet. I almost played the demo, but by the time I found the demo, it was so close to launching that I went ahead, I just bought the game, and I waited to do it all with you, so let's get going. Alright, hit me with some lore game. In 1947, the Olympic Peninsula became the staging ground for a promising new technology. As rumors of its utopian creation spread, so did stories about overnight evacuations, unsolved disappearances, and unnatural encounters. In 1955, the government walled off a section of the peninsula to establish the Olympic Exclusion Zone. For 30 years, the zone's borders grew until the government withdrew and sealed every access point. Let me guess, this is where we're going. Why? <laughs> Why? What happened inside was never disclosed. Shipping manifest, stay on the roads. Okay. The Olympic Peninsula, 1998. South of the Barrier Wall. It looks really nice. Yeah, okay. Makes sense. General steering stuff. I need to stay on my side of the road for chance. Like, how much driving do I have to drive, you know? No, I'm kidding. Yeah. Pretty much most of this game I'm expecting to take place like in our car. I think. Oh, I have a rear view mirror. That's nice. And also horrifying. Do I have like. No, I don't have one up there. Okay. Can I add one up there? One of my favorite things to do is to kind of just go on drives and enjoy like good music, nice environment. I feel like I'm gonna spend a lot of time just aimlessly driving around in this if I can. I don't know how gas works yet. Just to stop from spending gas on my real car, you know? Up and over a wall, through a crack in the wall. How exactly are we getting into this exclusion zone? That's what I want to know. <laughs> it looks so good. Uh, Alright, there was some sort of warning. I'm sure it's fine. Nothing crazy ever happened in the mountains. What is all that noise? I have like a. Oh, it's my radio, isn't it? last thing I played slash watched where like the, the radio was an issue was Silent Hill and I'm pretty sure we're not going there <laughs> so Wait, is that way a way in I don't think so what is um oh 
was a weird hallucination, apparently. A hallucination that had sound effects. <laughs> Feels like I have to, doesn't it? No weird smoke bubble. I'm just gonna stay on the road like my request told me to. Ugh. Something broke through over there. Oh no. Ooh. Oh, don't suck me in. Was I never actually supposed to be inside and I just ended up inside? Uh oh. I thought I was like actively wanting to be in here, but maybe not. Maybe it's more of a case like me, right? Just like my luck just accidentally driving by. Is that my car? Wait. Yes, yes. Can I have that? Look at all, oh, look at all the car parts. Get to safety, find transportation. Okay. And it's a little bit trippy in here, isn't it? Weird goo ooze. You know, honestly, before you knew it was horrible, it would be kind of pretty. And then the second that it kicked in and, and the panic started going off, <laughs> then it'd be less fun. But up until that point, it'd probably be pretty great. Okay, what do we got? Can I move this? Oh, I can just kick things. Perfect. Can I kick? Oh, someone out there? Hello? Oh. Uh, what a swan. Yes, Tobias, I'm here. Hello? Francis, the radar's acting up again. You were supposed to tune up this piece of junk years ago. Put the wheel back on. Oh, okay. Okay, things actually take time. I'm gonna have to keep that noted for when we're in tenser situations. Car drive. Oh. Francis Cook, located in mid zone sector B. Do you read Wait. me? Uh, okay, I don't have to actually. In the outer zone. It looks like you're somewhere around sector E. Hey, Francis, sure. Come in. Yes, it's urgent. Leave that interferometer alone for a second. Something is out there. It's just me. Oh, this car pulls really badly. I knew part of the simulation was like to fix up the car, but like, dang, it really needs fixed up. Look at this pool. Hello? Yeah, I'm Hello? here. Is this thing working? How do I? They, they, they don't have a transmitter. We won't oh, okay. Thing back. Huh. But if this I'm like sitting here, like panicking, like, how do I help? They're from outside. They're a preacher. Hey, hey, how did you get through the barrier wall? No one's gotten into the zone in ages and lived to tell about it. And if we don't get them to safety, this one won't either. That's a good point. Hey, you're in serious danger. Let me Here's turn. The closing in, and it's going to scramble you uh. quicker than beef in a blender. The closest shelter is a few miles east. Get there however you can and be quick about it. Oh, I'm going to drive this heap over there. Don't you worry about that, my friend. It might be a little bit of a struggle, but... Okay, can I... Life and fuel. Okay. God, look at my poor car. How do I check your chunk for a fuel can? I guess I should probably read my tutorial, huh? Well, I don't even have a back door. How is this safe? Okay. Hopefully this trunk is what they meant because... No. Oh, God. Oh, God. Where'd my fuel can go? 
Um. Oh. It's stuck to the ooze. That's convenient. <laughs> Guess it beats having to find a bunch of bungee cords. And you know, the whole rest of the car is like held on by bungees. Why not, you know? Do, 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 do. Just a girl up here siphoning some fuel. I don't like that egg. Not cozy. To be honest, I didn't even check which side my gas tank was on. Oop. It's kind of assumed. I wouldn't even say they say this is really the standard side. I okay, hang on. Can I get more? Can I just like fill this all the way up real quick? Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't. Oh god, maybe I shouldn't. Alright, never mind. We're going. We're going. Turn on, turn on, turn on. And go, 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 go. Whoa, 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 wait, hold the phone. There it is again, that blip on the spectrometer. I've seen that waveform before, but where? Could it be? A remnant? That can't be. There hasn't been one in decades. Oh, there's it's about to be one today. Tell me that doesn't match the remnants exactly. No, no, no. What, what, what we should be looking at is how fast this preacher seems to be moving. Huh. You know, if I didn't know better, I'd say they're going about the speed of a... No way. No way to not tell me. They found a remnant and it's a car this time? Holy Christ! No one's had work at Wilden here for ages. Boy, I'd kill to know how a combustion engine's still chugging away out there. Okay, it's just pure magic. First, the preacher needs oh. to get to safety. Then we can look into whether that car is a remnant or not. And my can I just... Odds, I already know. Yeah, okay. Back, baby. It's good to know that I can just drive through it. I might want to get out and kick things sometimes, though. If I'm not being chased by the weird yellowness. Okay, that looks like safety. The light. Is that my wheel? <laughs> At least it made it, I guess. Hey, anybody here? Can I at least talk to you from here? Oh, let me just flip that. Okay, at least we got some batteries. Who's there? I'm going to shop. Nah, see. You got five seconds to get the hell out before I. Ow! Oh, my head. What is she talking from? Some emergency broadcast. Hello, uh, attention. This message is for Dr. Ophelia Turner. We sent a preacher to your garage on um, official zone business. Now, we have it on very good authority that this person is in possession of a remnant. Which has taken the form of a car, and well, uh, that needs to be on the remnant thing. She's not gonna care. Um, uh, right, like I said, super officials own business. Protocol uh, demands that you keep them alive until we can get them to safety. Now, if you do not comply, I will occupy this broadcast channel with a recitation of the entire collection of poems I've personally written. That's ten years and seventeen volumes, and. <laughs> That voice goes like a nail gun to the skull. So, <sighs> another breacher, huh? <sighs> How do you outsiders not understand that Arda didn't see what's going from the car? hundred meter wall out there for fun. Unless you're one of the unfortunates who got zapped through. Yep, that's me. Wait, I just remembered. I don't give a damn why or how you got here. You're trespassing, and I'd kindly like you to get the hell out of my zone. Oh, look, lady, I would if I could, okay? Oh, God, unfortunately, the barrier wall is as fortified against breaches trying to get in as it is against anyone or anything trying to leave. We have to find you a way out. So you might as well start by fixing up that car. Just don't break anything in my shop with those soft hands of yours. How do you know my hands are soft? Pick up the backpack from the table? Okay. What? Oh, you need help? 
Yes. Leather headset somewhere in the garage. Put it on. The built-in diagnostic will tell you what needs fixing up. Definitely the wheel fell off, so there's that. Hanging by the map. Oh. Oh, that's that's a fancy helmet. Look at that. Into your wounds. Thank you. First aid station, then my logbook. Does that shift? Oh. Whatever. Okay. I'll just throw the wheel back on. Oh, I was trying to do this while they were talking to me, but I suppose they wanted me to have it for this part. Here you go. Good. Okay. I can take it off, but I can't fix it. Drive around to the sh doo -doo. Oh. Probably just turned it off. Oh, I should probably remember to turn it off. That's probably going to waste gas, isn't it? To replacement door okay for this how does one do that there we go all right blueprint door please the other items from the abandoned car behind the garage for the checklist okay what is that top one cups metal I guess we could siphon some gas. Have to run out really quickly, so never mind on that. Oh, cool. High bar. We needed that. Mechanic kit probably can't hurt. What is this? Duct tape? Okay, duct tape's always useful, so we'll just go ahead and keep that too. Probably don't need to do any of that just yet. Let's get in here. I need to actually... Warping vehicle? What? I can warp my vehicle? I... Okay. Uh, pry bar, pry bar, pry bar. Oh, glass shards. That's why it's a cup. That makes sense, actually. Is this road flares? Oh, nice. Okay. Put those here. Um, no, I'm gonna leave that in my hand, actually, I think. I'm just from behind the building. Behind the garage. And the dumpster. That's a friendly dumpster. Why is it spitting at me? <laughs> I mean, I'm glad it's not an angry dumpster. Hello, friendly dumpster. Anything else? No? Okay. This is like... Okay, it doesn't want me to do that. Grab the abandoned cars, wheels, panels, and doors. How do I do that? Do I need the mechanics kit, maybe? Oh, shoot. I... Didn't mean to do that. Is this right? I guess it is. Perfect. I scrap it all. Oh, I can just all of that up. No. Maybe that's why it wasn't completing. I could really move my car too, honestly. It's just kind of in the way at this point. I kind of wonder if warping, though, is only going to work if we have gas in the tank. Like, you know what I mean? Okay, let's see. Make 
this door. Thank you. It looks like I can make one for the back, too. Hey, okay, putty. Nice. Does that do first aid kit? Spare tire. Do kind of want the... Can I keep that? Just like... Can I just... Oh, I can't load things on top of each other. That's unfortunate. There. At least make some room for some of the bigger stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna want chemicals on me. I feel like anything we're not immediately using right now, we don't really need to have on us. Where is the pear putty? Where did I put that? There. Okay. Use your pear putty to repair the car. Oh, it's because even though it looks awful, it's technically fixed. Okay. I see. I'll let that fix. Fix up here. Just slap that on. I love it. Oh, yeah. Bam. Right on the bumper. Oh, we need to make like a side panel over here. We need a bumper. What is this trunk crafting? Oh, I'm gonna do that. What about this? Flat. Fix with a ceiling kit. Try the flat by crafting and using a ceiling kit or replace it with a spare tire. Oh, I already even have it in my inventory. Perfect. What does this do? Uh, all the most essential items and equipment allow a mechanic to do their job. Okay. This is my repair putty. Yeah, we'll put that up. We'll keep this. And then, honestly, the spare tire is about to go on my car, so who cares? Pull this one off and put this one on. There. All right, this is this for a tire. Hold up. Throw that. I wonder if I can just like fix it. Like, like can I just pump this up? I don't know. So I'll just leave it over here for now. I'll probably just get rubber out of it or something. Scan the loose wheel. And get my mechanic kit on hand. <laughs> that is not how Oh god. I'm not even like... I'm not a mechanic by any means. But come on. That is not how that works. Okay, install oh, arc device. There's a little prototype of mine in the garage. The arc device. Hook it up to your car, wherever. Makes sense. I, I highly doubt we see this like. beauty won't just be Brent's. your tour guide. It's your north star and the only way back to safety. Heck, you should consider it the father, son, and holy spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's how important this thing will be to you. Yes, that's my very own invention. I'll tell you more about it if you live long enough to use it. Oh, we need more plastics. Okay. Get first aid kits from the locker. This one. Are we good then? Alright, store items in for your drive in the trunk. Okay. I want this just in case. I don't think I need the plastic, actually. I can leave that here. I will need those. I'll probably need that. What else do we want? Scrapper. I think I just chucked that on the ground because I couldn't figure out how to... <laughs> Let me just put that in here, too. And then, yeah, throw the road flares. And then all of this, I assume, that I can just, like, shove in here for when we get bag. Nice. Alright, pick up the gear. Blueprint by the front garage door. Use the fuel pump to fill the fuel tank. Oh, shoot. That's nice. That we just have this on hand. Can I use this to fill up my gas can too? Or do I... 
not do that. I line the car at the charging station in the parking bay. the switch oh and let there be power oh if god all set, take a look at the projector against the wall this this is the zone within these borders all matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state what that means is the shape size and makeup of just about everything constantly changes a mile of grass can turn into 10 miles of swamp in the blink of an eye and it does. Constantly. It's caused by something we call instability. We're completely surrounded by it, and once you've watched it chew through entire mountain ranges, you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now. And that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If we're going to find you a way out of the zone, You'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. So, you've got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The arc device in your car will then show you where you need to go. Okay. I mean, I'm assuming we're just gonna... This is the only option I have right now, so... Off you go. Make a left out of the garage and follow the access road. Okay. Oh, that's how we open that. Nice. All right, arc device. Manual. Turn on. Do I still have my cool goggles on? So I have the yellow blips. Oh god, I'm glad I can see like the integrity of my vehicle over here. And kind of my route. Oh, and my gas can tank. Nice. Wouldn't be too bad then. Alright guys, it's time for our first excursion. This is radio station, damp forest, outer zone, residential area. Okay. Should... Okay, newbie. I'll keep this simple. You don't want to overwhelm that little brain of yours. You'll need a few things to rebuild the antenna at the garage. First on the list is plasma. The woods are littered with plasma generators. Look for a research trailer or a spot tower. But that's those antenna things zapping you when you get too close. Both are always accompanied by plasma generators. Okay, I'm gonna... The oh. device is picking up on some plasma generators nearby. Your headset has a built-in scanner. Use it on the plasma generator and it'll figure out the tools you need. Yeah, no worries. I'm just gonna, like, pull kind of in this middle area and pre-turn around just because I have no way of really knowing what's out here or if that wave of stuff is going to show back up so I'm going to be like preemptively ready to go that way I did not I don't know how to do that and off the car get out Is this a plasma generator? It was like really sparkly when I came up. Ah, uh, looks like it's ripe for the picking. Can't get at it with your hands though. An impact hammer will do the trick. Ooh, clothing. Don't mind if I do. Is that? Oh, a TV. It is really dark though. I wonder if I can like find or build a flashlight somewhere. Who is this? Just log that. Oh just scrap it? Um Okay. I mean I guess I could just scrap it. Look at you! Out in the zone all on your own. They grow so fast, don't they? And I'll be back at the helm. Been a long time, old gal. Oh, and broke into that one already. Talk again after that whole Sasquatch incident. Yes, I was hoping to go another decade without hearing your voice again. What did you finally talk Francis to death? Hello to you too, Oppie. And no, I'm still here. 
like a radiation zone. Oh, let's see. I promise. They deserve to know what they're getting into. Fine. I'm giving you 60 seconds. That is not nearly enough time to get... 55 seconds and counting. Okay, okay, okay. The remnants, in short, they're old objects that do all sorts of weird things. They, they bind themselves to people, and, and you're the latest victim. You and the car are inseparable now, so, so get acquainted. Once the remnant is bound to someone, they become gradually more obsessed with it. It takes over the victim's mind until they go crazy and run off into the zone with it. What? No one has ever been able to resist its siren call. That fixation is probably worming its way into your brain as we speak. This is the first time we've ever got our hands on one. Uh, but we know all about the past remnants, and oh gosh, this one time it materialized as an old copper kettle, and the tea that came out of that thing, it was... And now I'm splitting the transmissions going to your receiver. I see. Broadcast directly and immediately to your radio and headset. Anything not mission critical will be on a low priority frequency. Those transmissions will be recorded and indexed for you to listen to at your leisure. Great, thanks. And by low priority, I mean just about everything that comes out of Tobias's mouth. Yeah, okay, that's... Uh, I don't love that I'm at risk of running off into the woods with my car. <laughs> But, like, okay, sure. Let's see, let's go ahead and make this impact hammer. Are these different? I don't understand why I can. I don't, I don't understand why I can stack some things and then some things, like, I absolutely can't. Why does it sound so weird? Okay, let's just try to get... I assume this is my fancy-dancy hammer, so let's... Thank you. That's only two, though. I don't really think that there was any more on this side so let's just jump in and look for more i suppose oh yeah look there's plenty of stuff up the road nice i don't mind if i do travel a little bit more Is that? I don't think I really want to be seen by it. Like maybe, maybe it's okay in the car since the car is a remnant thing or whatever. But I probably shouldn't let it spot me not in the car. Dang, is the car still too close? Maybe it's moving. That's not a great sign. Uh oh. Come on, baby. You can do it. You can go off-roading a little bit, can't you, girl? Just like right here. I wonder how I get out. I'm not really, do I just backtrack back to that arrow or something? I wish my car didn't, like, just keep going. Alright, maybe we try to not get too close to 
the lights either. I assume that's probably like the edge that of this like map. Near one of the old gorilla radio stations. That ought to be prime pickings for antenna parts. I've loaded its approximate location to your map. Look for an antenna tower uh, up on a hill somewhere. Up on a hill somewhere. Okay. Sounds good. Stop at some of these other buildings, though. Like, what is this? It is so, so dark. Do I really not have... Oh. Oh, shit. My, my. Where are our manners? Uh, driver. We never introduced ourselves. Not really. Tobias Barlow, former Artem maintenance manager. Let me go see manager. if I can make, like, a flashlight. Oh, and, um, here with me is Dr. Francis Cook. I was a r and D scientist researching limb technology right here in the zone. We live right in the mid zone just just a hop skip and a jump over another big old wall from where you're at oh and, and that old bat over there that's dr ophelia turner former director of research and development herself the mother of limb technology the maven of electromagnetism that's enough resident party pooper resident party pooper the second guy that talked, I swear, for a second he sounded like Sh Shepard from um, Crazy Anatomy. <laughs> uh. Oh, hey. A pretty good junk. Uh, a we have a pretty good chunk of mats now, which is nice, I feel. Still want to stop and collect what we can. Good. I not have a flashlight with how dark this is. It's crazy. Hi, bar. Um, did I bring that or is it in my car? I think it's in the car. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me in. Might not know exactly what the, uh, Chemicals are used for, but it doesn't mean I don't want them. What is that? Lab reports. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. It appears that a combination of the correct conductive materials, limb enhanced electromagnetic induction, and a bombardment of electrons can sub substantially accelerate radioactive decay. So far, the figures suggest we can now accelerate the decay of U-235 by as much as 8%. While R222 is accelerated by as much as 12%, we remain cautiously optimistic. I don't think it's unrealistic to expect to reach values of as high as 20%, which has enormous implications for the future treatment of nuclear waste. Not to mention what we can do to mitigate the changes we're experiencing in the zone. And I'm gonna be honest with you. Your zone seems not so great. What does this do? Here to electronics. Oh, that's kind of cool. I don't really want to do that right now, but. The telephone transcript. Hello? Hello? Is that the office of Dr. Turner? No, no, the other Dr. Turner. Doesn't matter. I have good news, the best news. Your new computers are up and running. We did it. And the power these powerhouses are going to do absolutely blow you away. We've got some of the world's very best disgraced RTL-based integrated circuits with the central processing unit running at one and a half megahertz. All of this is able to address half a million characters of memory. We've even got a 32-bit word length. It's hard to imagine a more powerful machine. What's more, these barely weigh 70 pounds. It's truly amazing. You absolutely must come down and see one in action. I think Arta might as well push computing as far as it'll ever go. 
No, no, no. I can always go farther. Come on. It's so weird how some will stack and some won't, like, have to be missing something, you know? So some of the logbook is nice. It's very lorry. Some is just, like, more general. Hey, this is what you have kind of crap. Just, in all fairness, it's nice to know what we're grabbing. Let's get back in the car and actually go where we're supposed to go. I feel like I'm getting reasonably, not like full, but I, I feel like I've got a good amount for this first little excursion. I kind of want to just make sure I don't run out of gas or time or anything. I'm not totally sure how any of that affects stuff just yet. The left. Keep on keeping on. Oh, I bet I could probably have taken some fuel out of those. What is that one? It's like weirdly overgrown. Right there. Of course I do. Let me throw some stuff in here. Yeah, nice. Okay. Cool. Yeah, let's just keep the hammer. Keep the scrapper for now, too. Hey. You don't mind if I just, like, take this, do you? Cool. Thank you, Vines. All of this. Like that. So far, so good. What the hell was that? Anomaly. Okay. You do. Hi, Christina. Hi. How are you? So, um, it turns out you are right. We've had several reports from several regions of the zone now, and they're all very similar. We have these dummy things out in the wilderness, and, um, we also have them inside abandoned houses. We also have them in gas stations, on the road, on top of signs. One report here says on a roof. We've spotted about 600 now. Okay. Oh, and you're quite right about the other thing, too. Yeah, I know what happens when someone touches one. We got plenty of data on that. So, um, I'm gonna for a position in Portland now. I've done my review. It was a great time being contracted for sure, but I'm not sure I want to work with Arda full time, you know? It's um, it's very strange here. You work in a very strange place. I'm sure you're doing very important work, and I respect that greatly, but I think I'd like to go back to the that radio stations up on a hill academy it down. Oh god, the there's horizon. one of them outside. Okay. Uh... I just... Does it follow? I don't think so. Okay, that's good because I need to be able to get the fuck out of there. <laughs> like, no thank you, Mr. Tourist thing. I'll just, I'll be on my way. You, uh, you enjoy your weird viney house. What, what? No, 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 Leave my car alone. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Let me in. Just here. Vehicle protection compromised. Okay, that's fine. There. It's gonna start rolling away, that's whatever. We're gonna not get hit by this beam while we quickly take this plasma and head up the hill. Oh 
Poor Arda is like not looking so hot. Okay. Oh, our health is down. Probably because I got into this thing while I was like looking. I see. Let's loot this place a little bit, grab some gas, and then head up that hill towards the antenna, I think. Uh, what, what just came out of the ground? Is it just the ground? Can't tell. Okay, we're just gonna take the let's fill up, you know. Mm -hmm. Grab a coke. Oh, there's something shiny over there. Oh, I kinda wanna touch it, but I'm also kind of afraid of it. I scan it from here? What is this? Glittering boulder. Hey, this is Anna. I'm totally going so fast right now. Oh no, no, it's happening again. Just out collecting some data from the weather stations. And oh no, there are these new things out here. And oh help, if you touch them. Ah, hold on, Charlie. Look, I'm not an engineer or physicist. I'm a meteorologist. But my guess is these things discharge huge amounts of energy into whatever they touch. And when they hit a car, you totally go fast. Hold on, Charlie. Okay, good to know. If I need to get out of somewhere, like, call it quick. Okay, another one of these things. Yes, I understand. Danger, thank you. <laughs> All right, I wonder if they explode. That's the only thing I could really, like, guess that they're gonna do. Since they're like glowy red on the inside. Is this used canned food? Sure. I, I, I guess I can heal off of it according to that. Okay. Cool. Oh. We did what I wanted to do, so let's get out of here. Oh, I left this on. God dang it. I gotta really not do that anymore. Alright, looks like we're gonna take the first, like, turn. Oh, we should be careful. Oh. There's more of them. Okay. Oh, nope. The thing's popping out of the ground again. Never mind. Oh, my door's gone. Ah, uh, I don't feel so safe. These things can like. Can I scan that? Wait, no. Come here, anomaly. I can. Okay. A bullard. Yes, I agree with you. But this is nothing short of remarkable. And yes, I also think that we're seeing here. We're seeing here something new and unique, something unmatched by anything the zone has previously offered up. But I must disagree with your conclusion strongly. I strongly disagree. These abrupt, dangerous, grotesque things are one of a host of bizarre new geological phenomenon. They're very likely to recur in response to ground vibrations or local disturbances. And I think that's the end of it. To suggest that they are deliberate reaction, even a defense mechanism, takes our discussion in a very different, uncomfortable direction. Okay, well, let's just steer around it and hope for the best, because we need to go up this way, I think. Yeah, we do. Uh -huh. Am I radiated? Oh, it's that yellow crap again. Crap, 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 crap. I have to go up here. Right. Is this? Oh, come on, car! You can do it. I know I put you through hell and back. Back to our healing item. Life is going well. Come on! Come on! Come on! 
Yeah, here we go. And look, there's more spares and stuff. We can hopefully fix what I need to fix. That looks fine. That looks fine. I just pretty much look fine. Let me see if I can craft a new door. That's the only thing I would like for sure say I need. It's just like, can I please put a door back on here? <laughs> to get moving. The instability's ticking up by the second. But you can't get back the way you came. The instability makes all routes one way. And that's where my Octavice comes into play. It'll get you back to the garage, but it needs to be charged first. And to do that, you'll need anchors. Take a look at the Octavice display. It maps all anchors in the nearby area. Find an anchor and feed it to the Octavice to charge it. Uh, but don't you worry your pretty little head about how it works. We'll be out of here soon, so there's no reason to learn more about limb technology than you need to know. Well, what if I want to know more about the technology? And the ground vibration anomaly and the things that I assume blow up when you touch them anomaly. <laughs> like, hold up, if I'm going to be living out here, could we please teach me just a little bit more? keep going that way and then I guess it's just going to be roughly our first left. I'm not really I'm only going to have to go around this situation. Weird. Oh there's another one of those. Are we sure it's not a weird defense mechanism or something bigger? Uh, I gotta say them popping out of the ground here and there definitely uneasy. Hey, Hoppy, like, look, I, I keep thinking, the way you're helping our friend here right now seems positively helpful. I right. seems like me. You're looking to turn a new leaf or something? The only thing I want to look at is a 12-year-old whiskey and the back of this breacher's head when I sent them packing. But isn't it worth taking a detour to run just oh, a God. tiny Oh, God, what is the test? tiny test? Can't think of a worse way to spend my time. Please. I've seen you manipulate waveforms with your right hand and knock back a double with your left. Or am I to understand you've <laughs> lost your... Those anchors may look like glowing balls of magic, but it's limb tech through and through. Don't be scared. They haven't exploded in anyone's face recently. Oh, just take it? Here, eat this. Uh, uh, I need this. The Octavice is charged and ready. You'll use it to open a gateway back to the garage. Give me in, give me in, give me in. It will immediately collapse the stability of Alger. So only activate the Oh, it's angry, it's angry. You do not want to get caught in the storm that follows. Okay, what do you want me to do? Select gateway corners on the map. Yeah, I would like to link gateway. Sure. Turn to the auto shop. You see that shop. glowing pillar into the sky? Drive into it. Yes, it looks like hot death, but it's so much better than getting scrambled by the instability. Okay, sure. Over there it is. What a weird... Like, I, I don't know, I didn't expect to be, like, off-roading. My poor car is just gonna be having a freaking heyday, isn't it? Get off, get off my car. Oh, God. Uh, well, I'm bleeding out, and I'm pretty sure my car is stuck, stuck. Oh wait, it can teleport. Okay, okay. Get out. Oh gosh, yeah, warp. No, stop warping. Uh, 
good. We're, uh, we're healing a little bit. Yeah, into the flashing light. <laughs> what is happening? Get off my car! Okay. <laughs> we're in critical condition, but you know what? We're stable. Barely. Certain if the zone didn't get you, that gateway would. Mm. Did I not mention that you're the first human I've sent through that thing? I mean, they've been rodents, but it's not like it's completely untested. <laughs> but anyway, it worked. So, you should have made it back with everything you collected out there. That's the beauty of the gateway. It's the only way to get back with all your marbles intact. Now, I see. take those parts you found into the back room. I'll let you use my fabrication station. For now. That station will concoct ways for you to rig up anything from roof racks to flare guns. Assembling an antenna with those parts you brought back should be easy as pie. But it requires anchor juice to work its magic, so bring back as many as you can. And just because I haven't used that garage in decades doesn't mean you can trash the place. Mess up my equipment and I'll throw you to the anomaly so quick you'll get whiplash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We clear? Sure. Whatever you say, lady. I would like a bumper. Is that my bumper that just went flying? Yeah, I would like to just throw this on, please. Thank you. And then I don't know what I'm doing with this, but... Oh, I need to break this open. I see. Yes. Extend the range, install the antenna on the roof. Oh, is that why all that like scaffolding's back there? Hang on. Maybe not. Maybe it's through here. Oh, this is just another way around. Yeah, okay. Oh, well, where was that scaffolding then? Was it back here? Yeah, okay. Oh, oh dang. I mean, I guess it is an antenna. I don't know why I expected it to be like tiny, but like, look at us go. Antenna signals coming through loud and clear. Give it a moment to initialize. Yes, ma'am. Can I talk back yet? I install the handbrake. Okay, grab that. Make sure there to empty go. your trunk before heading back out. You'll need the space. Oh. Hi, friendly dumpster. Are you, are you good? You done? Light and good condition. Oh, nice. I'm glad that we have like a whole uh, checklist and to make like help. Everything's in working shape, more or less. I've hooked up the antenna to the route planner. Give it a look after you're done peeping through my garage. Yeah, let me just finish putting on like doors and panels and everything else. Nice. Look at us. We have a trunk. Oh, that's great. Okay. Another panel? Do I? I don't think I need. Oh, I do. Okay, cool. I don't need this door per se. Okay, what is this though? Trunk transfer empty. Uh, do I just leave this here for now? We'll see what it says. Sometimes dumpster knows best. Wouldn't be your best pal in the zone if it wasn't. Da -da, this and keep things safely. Make it through the next leg of your journey. We should go ahead and see if we can craft another headlight, though. I feel like that's actually fairly important. Also, this battery jumper. Craft that. Craft a headlight. And then, what is repair putty made out of? Okay, pretty simple. We would throw that 
in here though for later use should we need it. I think that's pertinent. This is pretty pertinent too, but we can always make another one if we have to. I kind of want to. I'll drop equipped. Let's say door in fax machine. Do I have a fax machine? Hold up. Or toaster, I'm not really sure. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll just leave this in here for now. Because I assume eventually we'll get the code for that, and that's probably where my fax machine is. Who really knows? Anyways, guys, that was our first excursion into the world of Pacific Drive. I know it wasn't overly horror, it was mostly just like a ease you and get a vibe, but we did already see a handful of anomalies and got lucky about not burning to death, I guess. <laughs> so we plummeted down a hill. If you'd like to see more of this game, I'm definitely up for showing you more. So leave a comment down below and we'll get back into it. So until then, it's been Ismay. Thank you so much for hanging out and maybe soon we'll find our way into town. Later.